Hello friends, in this program I am going to tell you about the different ways of taking input in a program from the user. So in this program, if you see that there is three variables and I have assigned 10 to one variable, 20 to another variable and I have added this value and assigned to C. And in the, in the last line, the result will be printed in the output. So if you compile this code, no error and execute this code, you will get the result sum of 10 and 20, 30. But if we execute this program again, then we will get same result. If we execute this program and then again we will get the same result. So if we want to add another value instead of 10 and 20, we have to go to the program and we need to change the value in the program. So it is not an efficient way of programming. This type of program is called hard code program in which the program gives the same result or same output each time. So what I want, I want to create a generic or generalized program in which I don't want to change the value in program. So to do this, we need to write a concept through which we can take input from the user at the runtime inside the command form. So basically we are having two methods. One is using a scanner class and another next one is using command prompt. So in this tutorial we will see both the methods. So first of all we will go to the taking input to scanner class. So for that first of all we need to import a class by writing import java dot detail dot scanner as capital in scanner and semicolon. Basically import is a keyword which is used to import the external classes in java program so java dot util dot scanner actually scanner is a class which is in util package and util package is in java package in java programming language there is a concept of package and it is used as a collection of classes as well as other packages so we can say package is a collection of classes as well as other packages. So to, to manage the thousand classes in Java, Java uses the package concept. And this concept is like similarly in our computer, we use folder system to manage our file. Java uses packages to manage their classes. And we can also create the packages in Java package concept we will see in some other tutorial. So at that time you have to remember this code and after that, we need to create a scanner class object. So create scanner sp. Sp is the name of object. You can give any name equal to new scanner. And now this scanner is used to take the input from the user from keyboard. So we have to write system dot. After that, we will take value of a from the user at the time of execution. So for that we need to write sp dot net int i capital and bracket. And similarly in this sp dot net int. And save this program. And now we will compile this program and execute this program. Now your program execution is at this particular inspection. And it is waiting for user to enter some value. So I write there, suppose I want to add 29 and again enter. So now again, it is waiting for the value of P. In this next, next int method is waiting for some integer value. So I write there 22 and enter. Now your result is sum of 29 and 22 is 51. So now we need not to go to the program and make changes to add some other values. So just execute this code, again enter some other values and your result will be there. To make little bit more user friendly, actually what is happening when we execute this program, this cursor comes and the user may confuse that what has happened with my program. So to make this program more user friendly, we can write system dot out dot print ln or simply print and we can write enter first value and similarly after this statement 
can write the second perspective. So whenever code is changes, we must compile over code, then execute over code. Some message is coming, enter first value, so it will be more handy for user to understand what to do with this program. Enter some value, enter second value, enter second value, and now your result is there. So this is our first method to take input using a scanner class. So there are basically three steps. First of all, import the scanner class. Secondly, declare a variable of a scanner class. And after that, use next int method. So uh, there is a next int method to take the integer value as an input. And if you want to take some other type of value, for example, if you want to take double type of value, so we need to write next double and similarly for the other data type. And simple next method will take in the form of string. Now there is another method to take the input from the user and it is command line argument. So for that, in the main method, if you see there is a string type array variable and the name is ARDS. You can give any name to the this array variable. In the string argument, what will happen? For example, suppose I compile this code Java C add dot Java and at the time of execution Java add. And if I pass some parameter like 10 space 20. So what happened when I just press the enter? the two value 10 and 20 will go to the this string argument in the form of string because command line argument is always in the form of string. So these two value comes in the form of string. Now we can use this 10 and 20 as a value in this program. We need to extract this value from the from argument array. Just write AR here square bracket and zero. We will see the complete concept of array in some another tutorial. At the time, we need to understand that the uh, 0 is the index number. So, 0 is uh, denoting the first index number and ARGS 0 is denoting our first value. And similarly, second value is stored in ARGS 1. But one problem is there. A is an integer type variable and ARGS is a string type. So, we cannot assign any string to the integer. So we need to convert the type. So, for conversion the type in Java, there is some method integer dot pass square bracket and similarly in the second argument integer dot pass and similarly we can use for other data types like double blue dot long now this integer dot pass in is converting an string in the form of integer and assigning to d let's compile this code again now execute this java add 20 30 your result will be sum of 20 and 30 is 30 similarly you can add another value by 30 but oh, your result will be there so this is command line argument and you can pass any number of command line argument at the time of adding but in this program we have taken only two values in the command line argument. so these two basic method is used in java to take the input from the one is by scanner class and another next one by command line thanks for watching this video and stay with me for more tutorials